So we have that wonderful parable that Jesus told the people about how God will judge the world. About how God will judge the world. And you will know from what Pope Francis has been telling us for three years now, God will always judge with mercy. The very first way that God judges is with mercy. And so in reaching out to, to us, God reaches out his hands and his arms, his whole self to us in mercy. And that's just one of the beautiful ways in which we understand the word judgment. So when Jesus was talking about the king in the parable today as judgment, we need to remember in our minds and in our hearts that this was about the judgment of mercy, not a hardness, but of mercy. And we heard what was happening here in the parable of separating sheep and goats. Sheep and goats. And some of those, and it was all about those who were hungry, those who were thirsty, strangers, those who had no clothes, who were naked, those who were sick, those who were in prison, and so on. And the judge was asking, well, did you visit this? Did you give some clothes to those who did not have any? Did you offer some food or drink to those who needed something? Those are the questions that the judge was asking of all those people. He wasn't asking them, uh, did you say the Hail Mary in the right way? He didn't ask whether you uh, were, were celebrating, for those of you priests, whether you celebrated the Mass in, the, in all the correct ways. You need to do that, priest. So I'm not going to tell you not to do that. But it's not the measure of how we look on the outside that matters. It's not the measure of how we might do the things of being a Christian on, on the outside, you know, the show part, on how well we sing or not. It's not how well we, we might dress, even though I'm dressed all very fine today. That's not the important thing. What matters God is how we reach out to one another. How we reach out to one another. So that we reach out to the person who is struggling. Do I reach out a hand of friendship to someone who has no friend? Do I offer a gift of some food or maybe some things that they needed at home to someone or family that's missing something in their home? Do I offer an ear to listen to someone who's sad or struggling or finding life very difficult? So these are the measures of mercy. Not the measures that, that, that are external but the measures that are about us as people, as God's people. So finding ways in which we can reach out. And if we don't just do it with our words, so, I'll just put this here next to you. So, I've got hands. Who's got a hand? Hand up with a hand. Yeah, we've all got hands. Who's got feet? Hands up with feet. Well, feet up with feet. We've all got feet. Who's got the flappy bits on the side of their head? Ears. Who's got a couple of holes in the front of their face? Eyes. Nose and mouth. All our senses we can use for work of mercy. All our senses. Not just what we say. In fact, what we say is the last, least important. The least important is what we say to people. 
most important is how we reach out to people, to one another. So just look around you for a moment. Ask you, look around. So stop the face. What that look like? Look at one another. Just look at one another. That thing's not good. Our feet for walking, our 
hands for reaching out. These are part of us as an instrument that Jesus wants to make use of so that we can play a great tune ourselves. So we can play a great tune ourselves. The tune, the song, the music of mercy. The music of mercy. I have one more thing to say. Then we can have all the questions that you might like to ask. The last thing I want to say is to remind you of a beautiful instrument of mercy. In fact, our best instrument of mercy that our faith has ever had. She's over there. Mary, our blessed mother. She's got the best instrument of mercy. Because she was able to allow her son and God our Father to produce beautiful music of mercy. And today, being Saturday, is as you know, a tradition in our Catholic faith that we honour Mary especially today on Saturdays. And so we honour her today as the mother of mercy. You would all know that beautiful prayer uh, which, which we all know as Hail Holy Queen. You know that one? Yes. What's the next sentence? Hail Holy Queen. Mother of mercy. Mother, just, just stay, stop there. Hail Holy Queen. Mother of mercy. Mother of mercy. Mothers know what they're all about. Mothers, who's a mother amongst us today? Any mothers amongst us, amongst the women? No? I know one, she's over there, hand up, any. <laughs> so Mary is the mother of mercy. So the mother knows, the mother knows how to bring up this. Knows how to bring up the best. So if Mary is the mother of mercy, she knows how to best bring up the So we can look to her to learn from her. I'll say a little bit more about that during today's um, Mass. But remember Mary. So if you're being an instrument of God's mercy, He needs to be able to play you, He needs to be able to produce your song, your music, your lovely sound. beautiful that sound can be. How beautiful it can sound. So today, being an instrument of mercy, it's not about all the fiery things of the church, even though we're in this beautiful uh, church and we can see all these lovely things about the church. That in the end is not what matters. It's how you can be an instrument of mercy, how you can reach out and offer something to those who are struggling or those who are without friends, or those who are in need in some way or another. You already know who they are. You already know. You don't need me to tell you who they are. You already know. But be the instrument of mercy. Allow Jesus to produce that sound, that song, that music in you. Look to Mary, our blessed mother, as the mother of mercy, the one who really knows how to be an instrument of mercy for everyone. That's all I want to say to you today.